Hey, it's Dan at No Seafood again, and we're talking about the frosting. Now what we're gonna talk about individually quick frozen, IQF, seafood. What of that? When you look at shrimp, and you can see that each one of them is loose in the package, right? Or a scallops that are loose in the package. The way that these are frozen is a little bit different. They go in as a singular piece in that same minus 40 degrees Celsius tunnel, and when they go through the tunnel, they're frozen within minutes. But one more step happens afterwards. After they come out of that tunnel, they actually get dipped in a water. And when they come out of the water, they go into a tunnel again, and it freezes the water onto the frozen shrimp. Why? What does that do? It stops freezer burn. That's why they do it, because they're individually quick frozen. Have you ever seen shrimp and it's got the white stuff on it and it's kind of like a, got that color? That's freezer burn. You, could, you can't do this at home. You cannot glaze like that. All of our shrimp and all of our scallops are individually quick frozen with a glaze. That protects the product. You probably will see, not just on our products, but when you do an IQF, an individually quick frozen product, do you know that the shelf life could be about two years, 24 months because of that glaze protects it? So sometimes you will see on our products and other products, like you'll see it on your frozen vegetables in your freezer, has a shelf life of three years. And I know this sounds crazy, it's because of the freezing process that's actually protecting the product. But defrosting an individually quick frozen product is uniquely different. Now, here's a solid bag of our delicious 2125 cooked cocktail shrimp. What we do not want you to do is to take this whole bag and thaw it just in the bag. Because each one of these shrimp has water around it. And when that thaws, the water is gonna sit down and the shrimp will absorb the water. We don't wanna do that. Same thing with scallops. Scallops and shrimp are like sponges. They'll absorb water and when you go to cook them, the taste and the flavor won't be as good. So what's the best way to do it? Well, what I like to do is pretty much deglaze first. Which does that mean? It means get rid of the glaze that was put on to protect the scallop. So I don't feel like eating a pound of the cooked cocktail shrimp. I'm gonna take out maybe a half a dozen. All right, maybe a little bit more. I kind of love these. Now these can go and I can wrap these back up, seal it, put it back in the freezer for when I want it. Now, let's do this with the, the raw shrimp as well. Let's take a few of the raw shrimp out. Same thing, individually quick frozen. These are 21, 25 counts as well. Um, I'm just gonna saute these. So if you notice, I'm gonna put these into a different colander for a reason that I don't wanna cross contaminate a raw with a cooked product. So that's the reason why I have two of them out there. Also, let's do a few scallops. And again, same thing with the scallops. We do not want to have these sitting in water because they act like sponges. We want a dry scallop. So let's take a few of the scallops out. Now, oops, how do we do this? Same way that we do it before. We run a gentle spray, and the big thing that we want to do right now is spend a minute or two. All we want to do is get the glaze off of the shrimp or off the scallop. That's it. So the temperature on this is about, you know, you don't want to go hot because that starts the cooking. So it should be tempered, you know, 68 degrees, 70 degrees would be perfect. It doesn't have to be ice cold. It can be just a tempered just to get the glaze. And literally, the glaze is gone now. And that only took a minute or two. So once the glaze is off, the right way or the proper way or the preferred way of doing it is not to continue running water uh, on it, that you begin to take a plate, after the, they check for the glaze is off, yes it is, I just put it usually on some towels to absorb any moisture that comes off. These are very, very thin and they're not big. They're gonna thaw very, very fast. That's it, the deglazing is done. Sit them in here on a paper towel to absorb any moisture that's gonna come off. The glaze is off the scallops. They've easily separated. I'm gonna put those there as well. And the same thing with this last scallop. That goes there. Now what about the cooked? Same thing. Just run it and get the deglaze off. That's the first thing you should do. And just, it literally will take a minute or two with the tepid water in order to do the deglazing process. Now, same thing here. How do we take care of this? It's the same way. I'll just grab another paper towel from below. The deglazing is done. Shut off the water. Don't mix it with the raw. Just put it here. 
Within 10 to 15 minutes, these will be thawed and be ready to serve. These will be done in 10 to 15 minutes and you'll be able to feel it. And then you'll be able to cook it. But really no more than 20 minutes from the time you deglaze to the time that it will be thawed because they're not solid big pieces, they're very little. They will thaw right in your kitchen within 15 to 20 minutes. This is the perfect way to thaw scallops and shrimp that are individually quick frozen. Do not please put them in a bowl and just keep them in water because they absorb it. It's not good for the product. You're going to be disappointed in the taste. And I, you know me, I'm a little kind of a, a fish snob. This is the right way to do this. Um, I do this all the time this way. So take the shrimp that you've been thawing out, but now you want to keep them crispy and cold for your guests who may be showing up in an hour. How are you going to do that, right? So the easiest way versus throwing them back in the refrigerator and having that crispness is I put them back into the colander. I take that colander and I put it into another one. Then I take ice cubes from the freezer and I just put them on. Now, what is going to happen is that the ice is going to work for us. That's fish, seafood's best friend is ice. Now it'll be in here, the ice will melt, the water will drain through, but it's going to keep the cooked cocktail shrimp crisp and delicious. And then when your guests come, you take it out, put it into your serving trays. It's a winner. <laughs>